Hi everybody, it's Amy Valentine, hope you're all good. I am actually filming this on Christmas Eve Eve. Well actually it's now past 12, so technically it is Christmas Eve, so happy Christmas Eve. I don't know when this is gonna be up, I'm really sorry. Apologies for being so crap and late and yeah, my bad. I have uni work, I had deadlines, I nearly had a mental breakdown about all of this stuff, so I'm just not gonna go into it. The videos are uploaded when, as and when they come. And I'm getting a new camera for Christmas, so uh, expect like maybe high quality. Like, I'm filming this on my iPhone, so you'll get a nice little boost in quality and maybe I'll film more motivated to do more videos. It's just hard at the moment dedicating time to like all of these different things. So yeah, as you can see, I've got my new hair. I got this done at not another salon and I have a blog post written all about it below. So I'll link that, lots of links in the down bar. It's nice and like lilac at the bottom, purple roots going into pink, into like lighter pink, really happy with it. It means I can't do my like Gerard Way grungy eyeshadow. I mean, I still have a lot of eyeshadow on today because I put it on and it came out darker than I thought. So I'd matched it. Yeah, like it's very different for me, but it's fun. You only live once. Why have boring hair? It's definitely due for a wash though. It's the really ratchet and dirty. I'm sorry. I had a really productive day today. Yeah, like shooting loads of outfits for my blog, which I will link below with my friend Tessa. I will link her below as well because she's awesome and you should all go follow her. So I thought I would film this now and be really productive. And also because I doubt I'll be able to do it like I'm not, I'm not gonna do it on Christmas day. You know, whatever. Let's just get into it. So November. Got some good pieces in November. It's been quite a mild winter in England, which is I'm not complaining, really happy about it, I'm not gonna lie. It's very pleasant. So yeah, first up I got some items from Skinny Bell. They stock loads of really cool brands, like uh, this is a love song and Unif. And from them I got a piece from Unif. They're one of my favorite brands. If you guys watch my channel, you know this. But yeah, literally anything Unif do, I like love it. Like their shoes are just to die for. I love everything. So obviously I was very happy to get this dress. And it is the Cameron dress, it's got a tartan print, really grungy. It's really high quality, thick material. It makes me look pretty bootylicious, I'm not gonna lie. I actually had three guys stop and perv on me like, try and chat me up and no one looks at me twice when I wear like short shorts and fishnets so I don't know what that was all about. But yeah I just thought it was pretty fab and that is £40 and I got it in a small if anybody's wondering. Also from Skinny Bell I got this quartz choker, it's really simple, it's like a double wrap kind of thing with a rose quartz point on it and that is £14. I actually have a discount code for Skinny Bell and it's just Amy in Block Capitals uh, that gets you 10% off so happy shopping. Next something from an independent brand called Black Hope Curse, they're really cool, they do some really cool designs. I got a raglan from them because I'm, I really like raglans just for chill days and this has this graphic of like a burning church on it. I just thought the illustration was really cool. They also have loads of other pieces with cool illustrations on them. So if you're into that stuff definitely go check them out and that top is £15. Next I have a variety of pieces. I went to a press day who managed a couple of brands and they so very kindly gave me a goodie bag with like an insane goodie bag. This goodie bag is like no goodie bag I've received before and this actually had some Unif pieces in it as well so this is a Unif, well not heavy but there's there's like three Unif pieces in this haul. First thing I got is this Unif top. It's just like a racer back sporty kind of thing that is really fun, just like white, black and red, and that's £24. And the other piece I got from Unif is a bag. It is the clear holographic-y pinky kind of mini rucksack and it has a fluffy pink lavender heart on it, which is really cute. And that is £70, but that was the one I wrote this ages ago, so you might find it a lot cheaper around now. Next is a top from This Is A Love Song. Just a plain black crop top with an off the shoulder fit and the kind of This Is A Love Song bang going around the top. Something odd about this though, it has like holes like cutouts in the armpits, which is definitely an interesting detail, but I guess it means that your armpits can breathe. Pretty be good for working out in, to be fair. I don't know, it's just got a really cool sporty vibe, and that is £36. Also, I got some really cute patches from Local Heroes, just got like an eight ball rainbow, just really cute stuff. And last of all, a jump from Paper Purse. They do like really cool 2D bags. They've made their rounds on the internet quite a lot, so you've probably recognised some of their stuff, and that is £19. Now some stuff from Lipsy. They very kindly invited me out to a dinner with them, so I got to pick out an outfit to wear to that. The dinner was with Fleur East, so I picked out some pieces from the Fleur East collection. It's really fun, got some great pieces if you want to go check it out. I picked out the sparkly body. It's got like a v-neck on the front. It's not like super low but it is quite foxy so if you want to go sexy but not all the way out then this is good for that and that's £35. And to go with that I picked out the skinny jeans that they do. They're super ripped like all the way down the leg and I don't have any super ripped jeans so I thought I'd pick these out. They do need ripping a bit more. I might put them in my dryer to like make them fray a bit more and they are £50. And to finish off the outfit they threw in some heels. Definitely not something that I would pick out myself because I know that I can't walk in these kind of shoes but I appreciated the gesture and I did wear them to the meal just because I literally had to get like out of my building, get in a car, go to the meal, walk into the restaurant, sit down the whole time and then repeat the same going back. So there was like no walking involved, which is obviously why I wore them. Even then I was just like Bambi on ice. I just cannot do thin heels. I'm crap at them, but they're very cute nonetheless. And from the event, we got given some gifts to take home, which was really fun. So I got like some socks, a nail varnish kit, a makeup kit and a perfume with a really cool bottle. So I very much appreciate that. Thank you, Lipsy. Now from Dolls Kill, one of my favorite brands. They keep hooking me up with surprise parcels. So which is so much fun. I love it. This time I got a killer clutch bag. It is a book clutch. It looks just like a book. 
Like I've seen some of these around, but this is like the best one in my opinion. And it says book of spells on the front. It's got like detail on the spine. When you open it out, it's got pentagrams all printed on the inside. I took this to a blogger meal and everyone just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I was there just like, yeah, bitch. So yeah, I really love this. It also comes with a shoulder strap if you want to wear it as a shoulder bag, but I like using it as a clutch, even though it does literally look like I'm holding a book, but you know, it's fine, it's great. And that's 26 pounds. I also got a choker. It's like an all seeing eye thing with a transparent glittery chokery bit, which is really fun. And that is eight pounds. And last of all, something I was really excited about. I got one of the Lime Crime Velveteens. I have one of them. I've got red velvet and I just love the formula. I am in love with all of the velveteens. I wish I could have all of them. And this is the one that they did in collaboration with Dolls Kill. And it's just gray, like proper cement gray. Like it's called cement duh. So yeah, I love this. I wore it with like a super red smoky eye. I felt like I was being really experimental with my makeup. And yeah, it's just a really fun color. And that is 13 pounds. Another thing I got really excited about is the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay. I got this as a surprise in the post and I hadn't heard about it before. So literally opening this up, I was like, <gasps> just oh, I was just overwhelmed it's the perfect nude palette I've got actually got it on today this is the punk color mostly a really grungy purpley kind of color and it's just like the palette just feels so nice and it's just incredible quality I was blown away by it. it's amazing obviously Urban Decay do some crazy palettes like the Vice palette is amazing but obviously not everybody wears like super bright colors so this super wearable neutral palette is perfect and it is 40 pounds and I have reviewed it on my blog in detail if you would like to read that moving on I have some pajamas a little bit random but you know whatever everybody wears pajamas I wear pajamas like probably about 70% of my life maybe even more I don't like things that don't feel good on my body I'm a lounger I'm a very lazy person but yes I got these really cute little pajama bottoms from Cyber Pajamas it says fan print but these look like shells. They're like mermaid pajama bottoms. They're so fun. And they're just really cute and uber comfortable. I love them so much. And they are £22.50. Now a bag. I'm sorry, this doesn't really seem like it's in much order. I should have really done this better. So I have a bag now. This is from Lisa Lemon. It's real leather. It's handmade. It's amazing quality. I love it so much. It's got a black base with a silver flap on the front and it fastens with two little kind of button poppery things and it's got a wrist strap as well. The brand actually specializes in like uh, bum bags but like fancy ones but then there is also this clutch. It actually fits my Nintendo DS in it perfectly which I'll get to in a minute. It's a really cute case but obviously I will use it like as a legit clutch as well and that is £99. Some pretty fun items now. I have two pairs of sunglasses and these are from Sunglass Hut. I went to like a Christmas blogger event with them. It was basically all about how sunglasses are like the perfect Christmas gift or just any gift in general. I would never be disappointed in sunglasses at a present like any time of the year. I wear sunglasses all year around. No season discrimination. So I got a couple pairs of shades from that. First out I picked out a pair for me and I got a pair of Dodge and Gabbana ones. My first pair of Dodge and Gabbana so I was like <gasps> they're gorgeous. I was actually at this event I was just on the Prosecco. I was having a great time and then I kind of realised I had to pick out a pair of sunglasses and I was just there like I'm a bit too drunk for this. So I texted my mum like what sunglasses are good at the moment? Like what should I get? And she was just sending me all of these pictures through to my phone like get try these ones on, try these ones on. I was just sending her like drunk selfies of me in just loads of pairs of sunglasses, like atrocious. But yeah, so I eventually came to a verdict. I picked out these oversized cat eye sunglasses. They've got a really nice detail on the sides. I was gonna get them in black, but they didn't have black. So I went for the brown instead, which I'm not complaining, they're still fab. So yeah, I'm so happy with these. I feel like they suit my face quite nicely, I don't know. And they are 291 pounds. And the other pair of sunglasses I picked out for my Nana because she's great and she deserves a nice pair of sunglasses. These are also Dodge and Gabbana and they've got like a red frame on the outside. They're a bit more dainty, not as chunky as the previous pair. And I thought that my Nana would like them. It's nice to treat them people that you love and they are 184 pounds. Some jewellery now, I got some pieces from Clairvoyant Boutique. I got some really cute necklaces from them. First up is this crystal necklace which is 10 pounds. Then I got this mini sun choker which is 4 pounds. A moon coin choker which is also 4 pounds. And lastly a pentagram choker which is also 4 pounds. Some really cute pieces, you guys know I love my chokers and there's always room for more. I'm always wearing, actually no I'm not wearing any today. I mean this is kind of a choker but going for the silver today. I'm usually always wearing my chokers, you guys know this. And lastly tech items. I got two tech items this month, which is quite exciting. First up, I have a Nintendo DS. Very exciting. This is the new one where you can see th the game 3D from like any angle rather than like dead in front of you. So naturally I was excited to try that out because I am a bit of a gamer and I love my games. I've got a very addictive personality when it comes to games. My time management skills are bad enough. So I try to not dedicate too much of my time to it. I've been so tempted to buy the new Guitar Hero for my halls and have like Guitar Hero tournaments. Although I don't know, I doubt anybody would play with me because that's really lame. But I know that my whole uni education would just go down the drain because I would just not do anything else because I've, I've been through that phase already. I can, I did the whole Guitar Hero thing and I didn't have a life for a long time but it's okay because I was a superstar on the game. 
Anyway, going way off track. I got a Nintendo DS. It's a cute little black one. And this one you can change the cover plate. So I have blue ones, although I put the black on because I like the whole sleek kind of look. And the DS is £150. And then the game I got for it is called New Style Boutique 2. I did a collaboration with Nintendo all on this. I did a blog post on it. I will link it below. It's a really fab game. You basically like run your own boutique. You do like hairdressing. You do beauty stuff. It's all in there. And I, I created an outfit like inspired by the game. So yeah, it was really fun. Go read my blog post. And the game is £34.99. And the very last item, I have a speaker. This is from a brand called Ultimate Ears and this thing is insane. I was excited when I got the email from them because I've been really wanting a wireless speaker just to kind of bring to parties at my halls and stuff because a lot of the time people don't have one or they've got shitty speakers, I don't know. And then it arrived and I tried it out and this thing is absolutely insane. It would fill like a massive room full of music because it is so ridiculously loud. It's got really amazing bass. I brought this to like friends miss Christmas with my friends and they were just so impressed by it. And they come in loads of cute colours as well which are plus. It's like 360 sound. I'm pretty sure it's waterproof but don't quote me on that. Don't try it. And yeah I'm going on and on about it but this is the best speaker I've ever had. If you are interested, do go to a shop and try it out. I don't want to just, don't just take my word for it. Go and see it for yourself if you're not convinced because I just love it so much. And it's a red color with like a bright green charger as well. So I just really like it. And they also sent me a picnic blanket with it as well. So I could do like a little fireworks party with my friends. So that was really fun. I've just, I've gone on about that for a long, long time. I apologize. And that speaker is £169. And that is everything in my November haul. I will be filming my December haul in the next couple of days. I would have filmed it now, but I kind of want to get my snazzy new camera on the case for that. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I'm just in that kind of mood. I apologize. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you would like to. Hopefully I will bring out some more exciting content, aka not just hauls, in the near future. If you want something fun and exciting right now, I collaborated with Zoe London on a lookbook on how we sell band t-shirt and that turned out really fucking cool. So go give that a watch. I will link it down below. And once again, I've gone really off track. Thank you guys for watching. Comment with your favorite item and I will see you in my next video. Bye.